If we sure. don't let migrants work, we're being anti-American. That's what the mayor of New York claims. Roll it. It's just unbelievable what's happening to the people of the city of New York uh, that are going through this. And nothing is more anti-American that you can't have a job when you come to America. There's nothing more anti-American. Every one of us in this room, family members came from somewhere, and the guiding light of this country is to be able to come here and work. We have a population of 80 4,000 people that we're saying you cannot work. That's anti-American. Okay. Congresswoman Nicole Meliotakis, Republican from New York, joins me now. Congresswoman, what are, you, what are we going to do with these 5 million migrants that have come to this country since Joe Biden was the president? Don't we have to let them work? I do believe that immigrants should be working just like my yes. father worked two and sometimes yes. three jobs when he came to this country. The issue is, is that Joe Biden created such a mess. Millions of individuals that have come into our country and the court system is completely inundated. He encouraged individuals to cross over the border instead okay. of applying the proper way. And so that is really what the, the root cause of this issue. Congress has put forward um, funding to add more judges, but the administration has dragged its feet. Congress, I, I'm that, sorry, that, I'm, mm -hmm. I must interrupt. Because I've asked this question many times, and I want to know what you're going to do with five million illegals who are here now. If they don't work, what are you going to do with them? You're not going to send them back. You're not going to get them out of this country. They've got to work. But they can't work because the way the system has been set up and the well, president change the system made it... then, because well, we've we, got we, five well, million. We... But this is the issue. The issue is we need immigration judges. Congress approved over a billion dollars to add immigration judges so these cases can be heard quickly. We need to determine the legitimate asylum seekers from those who aren't. Those who are not need to be deported. They need to apply the proper way. And then those who are the asylum seekers who are legitimate, which, I, by the way, I'm it's sorry. only a third I, I, that is approved in court, I, I'm sorry, uh, then they can proceed and, and, and apply for work I, I find work that unrealistic in the extreme. Those people who come to this country claiming asylum, 90% of them don't get asylum. They're not valid asylum claims. Are you telling two me? Two thirds of them, uh, yes. Two thirds, okay. Are you telling me that those two thirds, which is several million people, you're going to deport all of them? It's, it's my belief that we should be doing it that should because be. you're you'll in the never country do it. illegally. You'll never do it. You well, know you'll never do it. You know, under this administration, you won't be doing it because clearly they have an open border policy that people can come in. But what he's done is inundate the whole system. So now there's a 10-year backlog for people to apply for work authorization after the 150-day wait period. When the mayor says, let's shrink that wait period to 30 days, it's not going to help because you're waiting 10 years for a court date in Manhattan. So, you know, until well, the president stops the flow at the border, starts hiring more immigration judges and asylum officers to hear these cases, people aren't going to be able to get their work authorization. So, Look what we're having in the United so, States. You've got to wait you, months to get a U.S. passport in so this country. are you comfortable with millions of people just being here? They can't work. We've got to pay for it. Are you, are you comfortable with that? Absolutely not. In fact, I think that's what's un-American here, is that the taxpayer is the one footing the bill, $140,000 a year for a family, uh, when the average New York salary is $70,000. So right. they're getting double the amount in benefits. But again, the, the president has put us in a situation that we can only rectify if we stop the flow at the border, we add more judges to hear these cases so they can get their proper work authorization. If you don't have the judges to grant the work authorization, you don't have the personnel to process the paperwork, I mean, he, you know, they, they can't work unless they're going to be working illegally. They, they yeah. need to go through this process. And unfortunately, the president has made it difficult for everyone involved, the city, the state, okay. and the federal government. And again, Congress had allocated funds to deal with this, and the president hasn't hired judges. They hired 450 judges uh, since 2021. Okay. I, I'm sure we're going to ponder this at some length in the future. Uh, Minotakis, thanks very much for joining us this morning. I know we're going to talk about this again. Good stuff. Thanks very much.